Hey everybody, welcome to lesson two of the PHP 7 uh, tutorial for beginners. In this lesson, we're going to go over PHP variables as well as echo. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do uh, when we're creating any PHP file is open and close our PHP tags. To do this, you simply do that, PHP and to close them, question mark, and close. Now this is our PHP file. So let's go ahead and save that. And we'll name that index. Actually, you know what? We'll name this uh, tut.php. Now if we come back into our web browser, we see tut.php. And when we open the file, we're not going to see anything. So now we have a blank PHP page. So what is a variable in PHP? Just like any other programming language, a variable is something that changes or you can set. So let's go ahead and set our first variable. So let's do, to set a variable in PHP, you do dollar sign and then the name of the variable. So in this case, we'll hit equals and then your code. So in this case, we could do something like Welcome to the PHP 7 tutorial. And to close that off, we put a semicolon. So now if we save that and refresh, we're not gonna see anything because we haven't told the PHP script what to do. So now we have our variable. Now, if we were to come back down here, we could do echo welcome and you can close that off again with a semicolon. Now something with PHP 7 is you actually don't have to put that semicolon. So if we save that, uh, you can refresh and it says welcome to the PHP 7 tutorial. So that is what the echo function does. It spits something out. So in this case, we could also take out the welcome and we could put uh, in single or double quotes, it doesn't matter, hello there and save and refresh. Hello there. So just to clarify, um, you always can put the semicolon and it's probably best practice to do so. But now if we were to leave that out and then do something else like echo, how are you? It's not gonna work because it has to be the last line of code that doesn't have the semicolon. So if we refresh, we're gonna get an error. So now if we put the semicolon here, uh, save it and refresh, we get it. So the page will also load if you put it in both places. Now with the PHP echo function, you can also echo out HTML. So that would look something like this. Echo, let's say we wanted it to be bold. Hello world. And then we can add a line break and we can say something like, how are you? Or in this case, we could end the bold. Save that, and we can go in here and we can refresh this. And it echoed out the PHP. So if we view the page source, we see the HTML. Notice that we can't see any of the PHP in the uh, page source because that's a server language. It's executed on the server, not on the computer. So the difference between HTML and JavaScript and uh, PHP is JavaScript and HTML are both executed on your computer, whereas PHP is executed on the server. So what we could do is we could do dollar score or dollar sign today equals uh, today's date I think is Thursday. Thursday. Okay. So now what we can do is we can echo today oops, today is today so if we do single quotes it's going to come up as dollar sign today but if we do double quotes it's going to come up with our variable
today is Thursday. We could also do numbers. We could do basic math. Num1 equals 5. Num2 equals 10. Oop, no space. Shouldn't have done that. So now what we could do is we could go echo num. Uh, by the way, when you're echoing out a variable, you don't need the uh, single or double quotes. So what we could do is we could echo num1 plus num2. And that should give us 15. We can also do minus. We can do times, and I forget division. Yeah, and division. So that is a very basic intro into echoes and variables. If you have any questions, uh, please put them in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.